Hey everybody, welcome back, Bog Mode here. And uh, we are gonna see if we can get ourselves into uh, the secret lab. Hey buddy, hey Mr. Security Guard. Canned van, fast talk his way past him. Remember, the spelling felt the same. There was an appointment for us, but we just now found out they didn't study anything. That's sort of your name. We want to inquire about Professor Callahan's new research. It's caught our investors' interest. His findings have side implications. Even the Ziffer Revolution would be small tips compared to this. Let's so return to meeting with him and collaborating on his research. To learn that Marda was interested in the same thing. We have ourselves a three way partnership here. On the Marta Company's behalf, our car series now employ. To discuss it. Grant, is that right? It's a surprise here, both Elsane and Mark collaborating on this, but well, strange things have happened, I guess. It's the inconvenience. I said, uh, where are these children with you? Surely they're not employees. Alright, kid, I'm just short. Ahem. They're so an Elsane VIP, pardon them. They're here on Elsane's behalf as well, so they were looking to sit in on our meeting. It's a little awkward, though. We came all the way from Elsane just to get turned away at the door on a technicality. Sure to tell them when we get back home. I'm really sorry, there's clearly been some kind of a mix-up here. We might have been lost in the shuffle with all the Aramis students visiting. I should have the same rank card as them by mistake. We'll clear this up with Professor Callahan. One minute, please. Of course! I'm calling your bluff. Of course. Who's he to turn down grant money? See, what we're really here for. Just has to take the bait. Let's go right in. Thank you! You way past someone again. Hey, nothing I said was a lie. My fault if someone else takes what I said the wrong way. Yeah, you must be real proud of this. I mean, it's not something to be proud of. As your sudden embarrassment suggests. <sighs> Anyas, you say that, but I do want to remind you that Fairy is growing up to be. A mercenary soldier for hire. She will kill people for money. Some very light bending of the truth. Not something I'd get all worked up about. So you're trying to blame all of this on me, are you? Oh. Not at all. I'm in no way trying to suggest your latest research is the cause. If anything, the approach you're taking with your latest project rather fascinates me. Does it now? That Impressive being said, man. work on my own project has reached a critical juncture. I cannot afford any issues with net traffic at this time. <sighs> that certainly sounds like blame to me, Cronkite. You may be one of Professor Hamilton's students, but that doesn't give you the right to... Sorry the delay. Oh. Who the devil are you? This is a restricted area, you know. Not we have permission to be here. Could either you direct us to Professor David Callahan's office? Ah, I just heard about. Finish your Cronkite now, if you would all follow me. Yang Erm, Professor Cronkite and Callahan. Oh. Oops. Jock Ride, do you have business here? Gotcha. What are you doing here, citizen? Who these people with you? Capital, this is during stay. Crockett was great enough to extend us an invitation to visit him when we happen to see each other in town. Just so lazy if he could lead the way. I didn't invite anyone but you, nor did I imply we could meet again quite this soon. Chasing away it would be more than work than just cheering. Very well, follow me. Oh. I apologize for the interruption. Busy. Pleasure to speak uh, more on another occasion, Professor Callahan. Oh, <laughs> Oh, red in her winks. Come with me. I want to make this brief. Of course, Professor. Wait. I'd like to listen in on this conversation, too, if you don't mind. No. Oh. As their guide, I suspect it has everything to do with me. Take a ten-minute break. 
Do not return late. Yes, Professor. This using oppressive man, we know who this guy is now. Look at the big old orbital terminals. As you know, my name is David Callahan. To think that just basically in setting, ten years ago they hadn't, they'd only just invented the aeroplane. I believe you're here to talk about Elsheim and Marduk investing in my research. That makes for a very interesting combination, if you don't mind me saying. What exactly led to this? Hmm. Let's see what it's not sending then. We are currently working for Elsheim, and we do have a Marduk employee with us, but that's all. What? what We're currently in the middle of an investigation, you see. Did a lead happen to bring us here? To fell up in a rumor that some extreme abuse of power has been taking place in the laboratory here. <gasps> so there's a guy who got something to tell. I should investigate this. I couldn't tell you. Didn't leave their name, but they did tell us all about what's been happening. They're all about the ridiculous workloads and insane hours they and their colleagues have been forced to endure. How they're never allowed any rest, or woefully underpaid, how they receive vicious, constant verbal abuse from their superior. Even to the point that someone collapsed from overworking has been driven to the brink of suicide. Wow. We have all the testimony evidence we need to act if that's what it comes to. But we thought it better to come here and hear your thoughts first. Excuse me. So many people we spoke to are quick to say that you weren't always like this. I said how they almost had trouble believing just what you'd become. You can see how afraid people are of you now. They only dislike what you've become. At the same time, I deeply respect you too. Not heroes of justice like the cops of the guild. I'm just about finding common ground and putting things to right. As long as you're willing to work with us, we can... Ooh. Don't talk to me or respect and then immediately resort to blackmail. I can't believe one of my assistants would try to set me up like this. Unbelievable. Golden chance to help me obtain glory beyond their imagination? This is how they choose to repay me! Oh, we got the. I bet. I bet we got some glowing. Good, that was what you're doing, right? Sure, you wanna pick this fight? Your evidence. All I have to do is cover it up. No one's gonna believe some lowly assistance over an esteemed professor. Professor? I am one. Two mere steps away from completing my research, and now uh, they pick now to sabotage my efforts. And down the human cost, I'll start working them to the bone to make up for there. Just listen to yourself, Professor. What has gotten into you? You used to be so kind and supportive. Professor Hamilton held you in such high regard. Even though I was one of her students, you would still take the time to look after me. I, I just can't understand why all you do lately is spit in the face of her achievements. Sorry, that's a private matter between us. But please, at least stop and think about how you're treating the people who work under you. They took their positions because they dreamed of being like you. Don't belittle them or their work. Salation. Don't oh. tell me what I can and can't do, you third-rate apprentice! Well, that's assault, good sir. That is... Assault in front of witnesses. I mean, you know what? Yeah, you might be able to cover it up. But that sort of thing being public will ruin a man. Even just the... I mean, even just the trial alone. Even if you get away scot-free. <laughs> Katra. What do you think you're doing? Listen, asshole. You're talking to the famous David Callahan, the preeminent scholar of engineering science and military technology who has long upheld the very foundation of this nation's national defense. You know, you guys got your butt kicked in the last war. I've had enough of youngsters like Cronkite and Esmeray acting like they're above me after all I've achieved. 
My latest research will propel Calvert to even greater heights, change the power balance of the entire continent. Why can no one understand just how much of a privilege it is to help with that? Professor. Well, free to have whatever lofty goals you want. But I think we've had our ten minutes, don't you? We came in to explain the situation and offer a solution we thought would benefit everybody. I'm open to try and cover up all the evidence tests we've gathered, but I promise you, it ain't gonna be easy. Just as close to this revolution as you claim to be, I'd give another thinking through if I were you. <laughs> I'm done wasting time with you. We're raising the issue of your illegal trespassing in an appalling brazen with Mr. Towsend. They may have been a little too harsh. SLAPPING A CHILD! Tend to cling to Professor Hamilton instead of aiming for something more. I have no interest in you. You'll see the benefits of developing your talents under me, after all. Wager that would be far better use of your time than waiting like a little girl for an old woman who's long gone. Excuse me. Mm. Mm -mm. Interesting comment there. Remember that pronoun comment that uh, the, the the van brought up a while ago? Like a little girl. I mean, like a little boy would have had the same impact. It's about the childishness. There you are. Hmm. So this is what it looks like inside, huh? We were here. It's Aaron. so cool seeing the observatory. Uh, is that the telescope? That's right. Professor Hamilton had it specially made. That hurt him, but I'm impressed you knew where to find me. Had the feeling. I never forget what we saw as long as you forget of us forcing our way into the research book. We were let in. No force was required. I'm the only one who comes here every day right now. There was a time when quite a few researchers and students who all adored Professor Hamilton would come. In can come from time to time. Hmm. We used to be like he is now. Professor Hamilton has a rival, sure. This be the friendly kind of rivalry that was beneficial to both sides. Hmm. Yeah, if that type of piece of asshole we saw earlier is some kind of fall. Yeah. A couple of two years ago, so I recall, and you're one of her suits. That's right. I'm more to her than I can never hope to repay. After the observatory and her house, that she left the country. It's debatable whether I'm doing a good job of it. See, however, Mr. Towson is also one of the directors on the institute's board. It's considering shutting this place down because so few people are using it. Oh no! All kinds of miscellaneous tasks to score points with them. So you're. Although I ended up intriguing an investigation by jumping in, didn't I? If I hadn't said anything. I mean, you got abused. That was assault. I noticed this by now, too. This piss part is the only bad thing going on with him. Think so? I have the same feeling. Explain why someone so respected has stooped to such a rational behavior. Yeah. What? Yes, who is pushing him? Instead of the art, it's using it for vast calculations. To have to properly manage. Mm, any results he wanted? Uh, I don't know about simulations. You simulate things too hard, you start manifesting beings from other dimensions, and they try and take over and create death lasers. It's very awkward. No, you guys need to stop doing that. Tell me your thought processes. I mean, that long. We're going to be here for the next couple days at least. From scratch to the backs of it. Yeah, whether that CEO wants us to or not. If anything comes up, I should let you know. Keep it the professor left behind safe, if nothing else. Nothing comes from not being honest with yourself, you know. I'm counting on Catra. All right. 
Excuse me, trying to pick a fight, kiddo. I'm to prove my point, you know. He's a, he is a bit of a bore. Oh, Fire wants to look through the telescope. Using the telescope. Just that's what it looks like, that's all. I'm gonna give you the stars quite yet. Come with me. I need to get a good view of the great Shadar Triangle. Aw. Of course the two kids the group would hit it off. He's closer in age to Anya's than Fairy. He's uh he's fifteen, Fairy uh, Fairy's thirteen? My perspective. Eh, no, Aaron's, Aaron's an adult. He's 20. And you're only 24. By the way, Anya's, it's just me or did you seem surprised by something when that professor was shouting up a storm? It's not just you. She's trying to set me on this. Unbelievable. I give them a golden chance to tell me. There we are! The glow! There's suspicious stuff going on. Ah! Uh, why would you even ask that, Anyas? It is clearly not a coincidence. Whoa! What's this room for? Odette? What brings you all here? Where get they... Anyas, you know they were getting a tour. Found you! We've been looking for all of you. We couldn't find you anywhere in the main building, so we wondered if you might be here. <laughs> Sorry for putting you guys out. Well, not all of us are here for you. So this is their giant telescope. I've seen one in the Imperial Museum too, but it's so cool. Oh, can we take a look through it? It's nice seeing this place this lively again. It's been so long. I wonder why they're not doing any more astronomy research. Maybe it's because of the death satellite. That was in, put in the sky earlier, in the last game. So do we really think Almada's got their hooks into Callahan somehow? Mm, it's trying to stay up too late just because no one's keeping an eye on you. It's amazing though, wasn't it? Wish we could have had another look before we, before we left. Along with us some less safe fairy, we'd love to have you. Really, your work sounds amazing. So I'd like that a lot. Sleep play time with the kids then. Working for place scared adults. Hell, oh, you want to join in the fun for us? He's 16. Well, uh, maybe 17. I don't want to go to such a place. Oh, it sounds like it'd be kind of fun in its own way. A famous was that too. Maybe we could talk some more another... Hmm? Hmm. Much that is happening. Oh, what popular friendships are going on? Did you notice? Yeah, you managed to learn anything on your end? Something interesting from that genius professor, but that's about it. Not much free time here, however, so I'm going to have to leave it to that nose of yours this time. Time for all the work on me. Great. Here's the tram. Bye, Ren. Same to you. See you tomorrow. My. Oh, and of course, the look at their little desserts. Anyway, you phony maid. Huh? Something up? Can't hide a thing from him. He's yeah, he's, he's a bit abrasive, but he's sharp. <laughs> I should have realized I wouldn't be able to keep my concerns a secret. To tell you the truth, I'm getting a peculiar sense of deja vu from what's happening here in Basel. Deja vu. Managing a concierge, we also handle crisis management all over the country, right? 
So which does this oral net and distribution network issue make you think of more? Liberal six years ago or Crossbell four years ago? Ooh. So Crossbell, or not Crossbell, Liberal. Remember I mentioned the Orbital shutdown phenomenon. Crossbell had four years ago to have been mind control D therefore G drug stuff leading up to the eventual coup and the ions. You're proving perceptive and knowledgeable beyond belief. I've heard of both of those things before, but... Yeah, it has mentioned them at some point, too. Shut down off by appearance of an ancient floating city. Your network is used for a man-made miracle. First hand, so there's a lot of gaps in what I know. Both were caused by things you can uh, think could exist. Magic! Man, I think you've made up both events. You know, true. What happened a year and a half ago in Crossbell? And that's as bad shit crazy as on paper. Yeah. It is pretty bad shit crazy. AI accidentally formed by connecting to septium veins. That could make super predictions. Predicted so hard it manifested an entity from beyond time and space. Meanwhile, a, another weird super ancient computer had created a, a pocket dimension to train people in to fight it. And it had a death laser. So, you know, wacky. Was hacked or whatever the word was? I'm afraid I can't answer most of your questions because they would contain classified information. However, I believe this may end with a crisis different from the ones that Mr. Arkwright mentioned. Huh. Oh, Frick's Genesis started glowing in. There's bound to be something. This ends without giving us a headache. Yeah, we're gonna need to be ready for trouble. Gonna head out somewhere now, right? I'll come with you if you want. Again, you are perceptive beyond belief. I've only been in person recently. I've known you for a real long time now. Whenever you stumble on a major problem, Bruin, you gotta report it to HQ, right? Correct. What is happening here certainly falls under Code E of our regulations. But I see no harm in having someone with me during my report. We could also patrol the area at the same time. Does that sound all right? Yeah. Wait. It's just you two here, you know? Don't even think of leaving us out. Take one of you. But the other's gonna have to stay behind. Something to be available for audience of that boy we might decide to call. Now, last time we left Aaron to do work at the office. So we will bring him along this time. Fairy, it's late. You can stay in. You have to go here and give this report. The company's ace Hughes so far away, I would have thought you'd just call them. Frost involved for security reasons, but I just need to leave the city toward the canyon. Alright. Got it? I want you to walk around a little then. Interesting. Do you know what you want? Oops. Not well. It's a free rest. And we're next lately. Bugging out too. Or something. If I did, my sister would have had my head. Mm. Mm, the clock. Come in looking exhausted. One of they pick me up for tomorrow. All right. Let's see for them. Indeed. Don't take too long to decide now. Come back soon. Yeah, definitely more people in here. Hey, Melissa! Melissa? Melissa. Melissa. Bit annoyed and excited, but then so is Basil. Uh, if it's you know, yeah, it's not so bad. I think the beer tastes this good. It does taste better when you're just drinking for yourself instead of having to smooth the clients. Come see the tab. I can drink what I want. Guilt free drinks are the best drinks. It's true. Drinks you don't have to pay for are nice. Hi, Barnaby. Job I really do. Dad, just my boss, it's their deadlines for we're working with. <coughs> I'm 
event of it tonight. Talk about your stuff outside your usual crowd. Yeah. I get to know how you're forcing you to do this and stick to it. And telling you how to do your job. You better backward any more than you want to hear. They can't sit the higher ups, you know that. What they say goes. It's true. Don't mess her though. So always tell me to do this differently or do that better. There, bud. Don't hold it against you. Just trying to put food on the table like anybody else. Bureaucracy is just part of the business. The bigger you try to be, the more it'll drag you down. I mean it. What's wrong this whole time? I'm sorry, man. Have some rounds with me. Aww. <laughs> well. It's the same. It's all profit motion margins and productivity quotas. Uh. Hey, fairy. I'm gonna sit night with you because that sounds really cool. Leave it to you guys. I mean, I find anything, okay? I'm sorry, fairy. I brought you around last time and made Aaron work. Indeed. Anyway, let's take a little break here. We'll come back shortly. And we'll explore the city more. <laughs>